the focus this week was really just trying to find a very small minimalist carry um, you know something that you could throw in your pockets and still have everything covered you know minimally kind of cover all your bases without loading yourself down too much welcome to average gear review but the best gear is the gear you have on what is in your pockets guys average gear reviewer here back with another video for you and as you know today is friday the end of the week is upon us it's time to get rid of all this gear we've been carrying around all week it's time to get ready to kick back and relax for the weekend so let's kick back and relax with the friday night pocket dump let's do it and as always guys welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if this is your first video thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos i really do appreciate it it means a lot to me if you're a returning viewer great to see you again great to have you back with me on another friday if you're not familiar with the friday night pocket dump series what we do is every week i'll go through and show you the gear that i'm wearing what i'm carrying and where i'm carrying it and then i'll kind of go over a little bit of the why and also we'll talk about any changes any new stuff that's came out this week or or any changes i might have made to my gear as always i'd love to see what you got in your pockets so head over to instagram and use the hashtag tgif pocket dump and post your carry over there i'd love to feature it in a future video so yeah let's get into it and so guys just like every week what i'm going to do is i'll start on my left hand side and i'll go all the way around to the right and just show you what i'm carrying where i'm carrying and i'll, I'll put everything down on the bench and then we'll take a look at it in the overhead view um you know i'm going to go ahead and take off the iMini 2 and guys if you couldn't tell this week i'm focusing on a very minimalist carry because here in the south it's really hot i don't know if where you are it's getting hot yet but here it's really hot and humid already so already starting to kind of pare down the clothing slim down the carry you know trying to uh, just go as minimal as possible so what i've got this week is i've got a micro edc kit in my left hand pocket and in that one i've got a i3t flashlight uh, i3e flashlight um, I've got the Olight Oticle P1 multi-tool, and I've got the Mech Army pin, and I'm carrying a Lynch Northwest Best Case Scenario pry bar, and it's all carried in the pocket launch pad by Knife Eye King, and this is actually a left-handed carry, specially made one that he did for me uh, in X-Pack material, and the uh, launch pads are one of those game changers for me. I always have one on me. Um, it's sort of like my Vizmix belt. I'm always going to have this on me. It's just it's just a part of my carry now. In the back pocket, I've got, the, of course, the Fidelo Minimalist wallet. Great RFID blocking wallet. It uh, has a card advance feature that will push your cards up for you. Uh, some external pockets. And it does have a... Uh, got an aluminum sleeve on the inside that you can carry this just on its own if you wanted to for the wallet i like carrying it in a leather slip um, just a little more comfortable in the pocket and, and it just seems a little nicer with the leather so yeah the dello minimalist wallet that's all for the left side uh, back right pocket i have got an ohank carrying a blue one today to match the blue of course you know What do you guys think about the shirt? This is like the most ridiculous Hawaiian looking shirt that I have that I could find. And I thought it would be funny. So um, got the Lighter Bro Pro in my pocket. If you know, you know. Always got to have the Lighter Bro Pro on you. Something cool in my right pocket, guys. I, I really kind of hesitate to show you this because they're not really done. But, but I'm carrying them because it's something that I was working on. I did a, a live stream last night if you happen to catch it where I was working on, uh, I want to try and make some scales for the Civivi Vision FG. Um, I've never tried to make a scale, a set of scales or handles for a production knife. So this was really a first for me. Um, they're a little bit rough. Like I said, I still have to do some work on them. Um, so they're not, like the fine details aren't done quite yet, but I really like the way they look. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. These are, these are mine. I made these. Um, 
and they're a G10, black and red G10. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. These are Micarta. It's a black and red uh, Micarta. So, yeah, on the Civivi Vision FG. I think it looks pretty cool. I need to get these holes. I still got to route those out a little bit, make them a little bigger, and um, just a couple of little fine touches that I want to do to it. But And there goes the... Uh, there goes the ring light on cue. <laughs> so like I always say, guys, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me a like. If you would like to help me literally keep the lights on here, like I keep saying, become a channel member for as low as 99 cents a month. It, it, you, it, it'll help out so much. Please help us keep the lights on. All right. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties there, but that is the show. I was showing you the uh, Civivi Vision FG with the custom AGR scales in black and red Micarta. Yeah. And of course, if you've been watching the channel, you know I always carry the Taurus G2C, right-hand side appendix carry with the Balder RL, Olight Balder RL, weapon-mounted light and laser. Of course, it, I had it on safe there. It's unloaded, completely safe. There you go. I always unload the guns for the YouTube videos, so just so you know, any any weapon I ever show is is unloaded. <laughs> but don't take my word for it because there's no such thing as an unloaded gun, right? Um, and of course, you know I do carry it in the gun and flower Kydex holster with always awesome ulti clip there. Oh yeah, got a returning, got some a returning guest to the show. Oh yeah, it's the white horse baby rides again. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following um, in my recent videos, but this is a knife that I'm working on. Um, it's a concept. It's an integral uh, G10 or Micarta. This is a Micarta handle. Um, nice little, to me, it's like a nice version of a small arm retention knife. And it's just, it's so comfortable in the hand. Like it doesn't matter how you hold it. It really feels good for any kind of grip. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I'm loving it. And, uh, I've learned a whole lot really in the process of, of trying to do this, but, um, I, I really, really like working with G10 and Micarta the handles and um, just kind of doing my own little touches to them. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the uh, white horse concept. I think I'm going to put this one up for sale actually. So if uh, anybody might be interested in one, um, let me know. I might do like a raffle type. Um, yeah, something like that. I don't know. And then I do keep it in a Kydex um, Kydex sheath with uh, Ulti Clip Slim. I'm a huge fan of the Ulti Clips. I know you guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you already know that. But uh, the Ulti Clips really are game changers. You can just you can clip them to just about anything. Um, I do have the Tick Watch Pro on me as well. Um, if you know, I always have that. I always carry that watch. I have other ones, but that just seems to be the one that I end up using all the time. Uh, the last thing I've got here, of course, you know, is the good old Vizmix tactical belt. I've talked about this one in a few videos. Um, it really does go with everything. The inner core belt of the tactical belt system, it just it looks like any other belt when you have it on, really. So you can wear it, uh, you know, with a more more kind of casual summer outfit. You can wear it with jeans, um, cargo pants, anything. But the uh, the Velcro on the outside, really just a game changer to me as far as my carry. But yeah, that's it for uh, this week. That's what I'm carrying this week. Um, like I said, a real stripped down kind of minimalist carry. Wanted to show you guys a, an option for a summertime carry basically is what I'm trying to show you here. So we pared everything down to just as small as possible, you know, um, just to save on space and then weight too. You know, when you're wearing lighter clothes, lighter shorts, um, heavier stuff will will pull your shorts down and can kind of, you know, if you don't have everything well secured to you, um, 
then, you know, that could be, that could be an issue. So, um, we'll get over to the, to the bench and let's take a look at everything. All right, guys, we're over here at the top down view. And, um, you know, like I said, the focus this week was really just trying to find a very small minimalist carry, um, you know, something that you could throw in your pockets and still have everything covered, you know, minimally kind of cover all your bases without loading yourself down too much. So one of the, one of the best ways to do that, that I found is to carry, you know, like a micro sort of EDC kit that, that sort of covers everything that you need. It got, you got your bases covered here. Now it's not going to tackle big heavy duty jobs, but, um, you know, normally I will carry a pack, um, a bag pouch, something like that along with me to carry a few more, um, heavy duty items. But this, as far as just an on body carry is a little stripped down light summer carry, um, you know, of course, I had to show off the Civivi and these scales that I worked on last night. Still got to finish it up and put the uh, clip on. And you can see I was trying to do a little bit of uh, doing a little bit of work on it while it was on the blade on the scales. And uh, got into the steel just a little bit, but that's okay. Won't hurt anything. It's just a knife, right? But yeah, um, I kind of like the way that they're they're going. Like I said, these aren't done yet. I still have to do a little more work to them. I did round them out a little bit here for finger grooves. And I wish I hadn't gone quite so much back there where you can see the metal. Um, but it's it's still very comfortable in the hand. It's actually, it's actually more comfortable than the scales that were on it to me um, because these are really rounded. And they're a lot smaller too. Um, they don't... They're, uh, they're just in your hand. They feel a lot smaller, um, and it gives the knife a good a good feel to me. Anyway, I really like them. Um, you know, I know I know they're not like super professional or anything, um, but just for something that I'm working on on my own, I'm, I'm really proud of them. Um, I know I've got a lot to learn, but um, yeah, it's re it's really just a fun process of trying to learn how to do different things and just kind of. Uh, being able to express my own, you know, sort of creativity and, and make it how I want to make it. So that's something I've really been getting into lately is just uh, sort of making my EDC my own. Um, it's something that I've always done. I've always had a tendency to modify my gear. Um, back when I was in the Army, you know, I would modify stuff that I carried um, different ways, you know, just to suit me better. Um, you know, for a lightweight summer carry, you can't really beat... Uh, a little compact nine millimeter, especially something like the Taurus, um, the G2C. I'm a huge fan of these guys, and I know people don't like Tauruses, and people talk bad about them. Um, you know, I've never had any issues with this one. It is a daily carrier for me. Um, you know, the fact that I can carry 13 rounds of nine millimeter in such a compact package is just really. Um, it really sold me on this. Uh, the fact that it has adjustable sights, a uh, rail on the front, some nice gripping on the handles. It's just a really well-made little pistol. It fits really good. It shoots well. Um, like I said, never had any issues with it at all. Um, tons of holsters and accessories out there for them. Although if you go with Olight, you know, you're going to have a problem um, finding holsters to fit it. It is possible. But uh, it just takes a little bit more looking. Gun and Flower um, is the one that I use. And I'm trying to think of a couple more. I know there's a couple other ones. And I just can't think of them off the top of my head. And I apologize for that. But, um, yeah, just do some looking. And, and like I've said in other videos, you know, find a holster that will fit your gun. Don't try to don't try to compromise on the gear you want to carry to, to fit into uh, some kind of carry scheme. Or to, you know, be able to easily find a holster. Do a little more looking and find a holster that fits. Find the gear that fits you and, and carry what you want to carry. You know, because um, like I always say, guys, you should always be carrying. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. That's right. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.